Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing well. I just wanted to show you a little bit on Athena. They did the prayer tonight uh, that was at the courthouse and then tomorrow they're going to be doing the candlelight visual. So I'm also gonna show you um, a little bit from today that, that um, took place for Athena. Feeds from around the country, and I want to take us out right now to Wise County, Texas, as they're holding a vigil there for Athena Strand, this memorial out of Texas. We followed this story on live now from Fox over the weekend, and a very tragic story of a seven-year-old uh, that was slain as there's a FedEx driver now in custody expected to be charged with that capital murder and also aggravated kidnapping. Let's just listen in to this uh, vigil that's taking place in Texas here on Live Now from Fox. Presence and prayerful support in their lives. Dear God, I ask that you bless all of Athena's friends and classmates. We had a difficult day back at school today. I pray, God, that you grant all of us who her parents and grandparents and have to try and explain this to little kids. I hope you give us the strength and the right words and the grace. God, I ask that you bless all the law enforcement officers who have worked this case from the get-go. Please bless their hearts, their servant hearts that work so hard to protect everybody and keep everybody safe and who have to keep showing up and taking those tough calls even when they don't work out like they hope. God, I ask you to bless those in our district attorney's office and our county judicial system to properly carry out justice and stand strong for our children and for our victims of crime and violence. And God, I ask that you bless this Wise County community as a whole. There's been a lot of loss of life over the past few months. Students from Chico, Bridgeport, Paradise, and Alvord. There are a lot of people hurting for a lot of reasons. And we lack understanding, but we have faith, God. And please help us keep that faith. Focus on the love. Focus on the hope. Give us the strength to stand up and be the protectors for our families and kids and community that we need, God. And help us to remember that we can't let the dark win. And we have to be the light in this community. God, we lift all these things up to you tonight. And we ask them to you, and we ask you to bless them. In your son Jesus Christ's holy name, amen. amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I appreciate you so much for being here. I apologize for the sloppiness and the snot and the tears, but here we are. We're in a public place. You're welcome to continue to pray. You're welcome to, to stay here and talk to your neighbors if that's what gives your heart solace as well. And just look around and see this community's in this together. And we will get through this together. My God bless you all for being here tonight. Thank you. And to, tomorrow night, tomorrow night at 6 p.m., Cottontail, Cottondale Baptist Church. There's a candlelight vigil and a service for Athena. That church has been incredible during this entire situation. They were a, a comfort and a staging area for the volunteers. And they continue to do great things as they look to, to be a support system and a center of faith for this community in these hard times. That's at 6 p.m. tomorrow, Cottondale Baptist Church. And I want to let you know about that as well. Thank you all so much, and be safe getting home. God bless you.
So that's the most that I got to see from it, right? I don't know what happened beforehand, but at least we got to see that part of it. And I'm sure that there'll be um, videos of uh, different crew that are out there that probably um, will have little clips of it added to one of their next streams, you know, the next video that they put out. I'm going to show you this um, pink Christmas tree that they they did in honor of her. The murder of a child. It's hard to miss all of the pink spread throughout the community on the road heading from Boyd into Paradise. We just wanted to show support for the Strand family. Um, you know, it's a tight knit community around here, even though it's one town over, we're we're all family. Heather King is just one of at least a dozen neighbors who traveled around town Sunday, decorating with pink ribbons, balloons, anything pink they could find. Pink was Athena Strand's favorite color. Now the community is lit up in pink in memory of her. We're going to focus on her and the good things and, and the love that she brought, and we're not going to focus on the tragedy. Athena's name spelled out for all to see on this fence. Seven-year-old Athena Strand was first reported missing by her stepmother on Wednesday evening. Her body was found two days later on Friday after investigators say 31-year-old FedEx driver Tanner Horner confessed to abducting her from her Cottondale home and killing her. This is not what we want our town to be remembered by. Um, we are a loving community. We don't want this tattooed on our city. Rod Townsend, the superintendent of Paradise ISD, the district where Athena attended elementary school, said the district will have additional counselors available at the elementary and middle schools on Monday and that they will honor Athena at a later date. In a statement to CBS 11 News, Superintendent Townsend said, quote, we want to be respectful and let family and friends work through this horrible tragedy. More than 25 other local school districts have asked staff and students to wear pink on Monday to show support for the Paradise community and Athena Strand's family. So I had this idea to make these little pendants that people could add to their necklace or keychain or felt like it was something that I needed to do. Misty Sumani Pan is giving out these little pink hearts with wings for free to anyone who wants to show their support. In big ways and small, community members are doing everything they can to show their love for Athena and her family. That's just what this community does. That's what small town America does. The community will come together to remember Athena at a candlelight vigil on Tuesday at 6 o'clock at the First Baptist Church of Cottondale. In Paradise, Olivia Leach, CBS 11 News. Also, if you live in Fort Worth and would also like to show your support, there will be another vigil that will be held on Tuesday. It will be at 6 p.m. at Cafe Republic in the city of Fort Worth. Oh. Dad was down on his look. And then there's another um, another video here about uh, the community mourning her. Very, very sad. Oh, they're wearing pink. I love that. Well, the man accused of kidnapping and killing a seven-year-old girl in Wise County makes his first court appearance today. Many plan to show their support for the girl's family today and Fox Horse TCM News and Guys Live with an update. TCM. Yeah, good morning, Lauren. So the death of seven-year-old Athena Strand has rocked and shaked and, and impacted so many people, especially in this area. We do know that nearly 30 Texas school districts will wear pink in her honor. I've actually seen a few students and staff members walk up into the school right behind me and wearing pink. But we do know that today is when we are expecting to learn more about the accused killer, and that is 31-year-old Tanner Horner. He was a, old, uh, a uh, contract FedEx driver, and he's expected to appear before a judge today. Now, according to the Wise County Sheriff, he confessed to kidnapping and murdering the seven-year-old. He dropped off a package at the family's home last Wednesday around the time she disappeared, and Athena's body was found southeast of Boyd on Friday, less than 10 miles from her home in Paradise. Now, Strand's family was has used social media to express their grief, including Athena's grandfather. So in an emotional post, he said he forgives Horner, saying, quote, hate will not win. 
I do this to honor our precious Athena who knew no hate. We can't begin to fathom how heartbreaking this is, and this is the best that we can offer right now. Um, we just want to show them how much we love them and support them and, and, and praying for them. Well, counselors will be available at schools in Paradise ISD where Athena attended school and a candlelight vigil is still planned for tomorrow night at 6 p.m. And we do know that it will be held at the First Baptist uh, Cottondale. And we also do know that the public is invited to that. For Good Day, I'm TCM Muzinga. Um, I want to show you her mother's page. Today, there were bikers that all went out and drove um, their bikes for Athena. And I will actually show you the video of that. But her mother had said um, that she, I hope this ride feels better for all the ride, better than all of the rides than any ride they've ever taken. And then um, shared this post that had some pictures, had pink, people wearing pink. And then this is just heartbreaking. She said, these are my girls. This video of Rye begging for her sissy was Sunday the 27th. When we thought sissy would only be gone a few days, I kept telling her, it's okay, we will see sissy soon not knowing how twisted our lives would become. I took it because she does this any time she thinks Sissy is going somewhere without her. She cried for 30 minutes straight in the car until she cried herself to sleep. This monster has now extended those feelings for my youngest daughter indefinitely. Athena's cousins on my side of the family had to be told she's never coming home again. Athena's stepsister is also aware and she her feelings aren't mine to discuss. However, I will say it's heartbreaking to know her reaction. Her name is Athena Presley Monroe Strand, and she is loved. And I'll start here. And then, I mean, this video, it just is heartbreaking. Look at how much her sister looks up to her. And I don't mean looking up. I mean, look at her. She wants to be just like her. Oh, my gosh. Uh, okay. That is a face of genuine, genuine, pure sadness. Now she'll live with that feeling forever because of that man. Uh, it's just absolutely heartbreaking. I mean, I saw that and it just about broke me. I'm like, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, it's awful. So awful. Let me grab this one video. I actually don't have it um, ready. I don't know why or what I'm doing exactly. Oh, here, let me show you this really quick. So... All right. I always have to do a million steps in order to get back to you. I'm so sorry. All right, here we go. Let me share this with you. <sighs> so Stevens County, Texas. Tonight, we pause to remember Athena Strand. In Stevens County, there are amazing groups who touch the hearts of some of our most vulnerable citizens, our children. Stevens County Child Welfare Board, Angel Tree, All His Children, Toys for Tots, Dr. 
Goodell's house and the open door to name a few, the darkness that took Athena's life should be condemned and justice served. I humbly ask you, our community, a question. How are we lighting a candle? How are we part of the solution? Each year, the amazing groups I mentioned before struggle to find volunteers and raise funds. Mentors in schools and vital resources are needed to ensure we have the best tools available to make a difference for the children who live here in our community. May we reflect, mourn, commit ourselves to be more vigilant, and let's make a difference here, this place we call home. If you've posted about the anger you feel about this evil act, let's do something positive beyond venting on social media. The need is great and our children are waiting. That's so true. That is really so true. People have a lot to say, but don't do anything different. It's like they just wait for another one, unfortunately, right? It's so devastating. Oh, so I'm bringing you over to a video of the ride that the bikers took. Um, I'm not doing the full video. There is an entire um, long video that I can add to the description. And then if you want to watch the entire thing, you will be able to. Um, but this is her classmates. Athena's classmates are dressed in pink and they're waving to motorcycles in her honor. And um, I just want to show you this. And there's no volume on it, but I'll be quiet and let you just watch. It's incredible. There's there's uh, multiple videos that are out there of the bikers going by. I really like that one. Uh, seeing the classmates run up to the gate. Oh, it's so touching. So touching. I want to show you um, something that was done today, too. So see this right here? This picture of her? The image, this image has been updated to include the more than 1,000 of you who sent photos of you wearing pink today to honor Athena Strand. Photos have been pouring in all day from as far away as Nevada, Utah, New Mexico, Missouri, Florida, Illinois, Kentucky, Oklahoma, Colorado, and Virginia. To the family of Athena Strand, 
your little girl is being remembered across the country today. This messiah, messiah, I don't know if that's the right word, is made of photos posted to this page of people wearing pink in honor of your Athena right now. This is a pattern repeating itself across the country. Look at that. That's incredible. That is incredible. So I just wanted to um, make sure that I showed you that. I thought that was fantastic. Wow. I'm so thankful so many people um, are honoring her today. I hope that you also wore pink as well. And tomorrow I will stream the candlelight visual that they do. And so I, it's six o'clock central time. I am Eastern, so I will be on at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard, uh, and I will stream the candlelight vigil. I hope that I see you there. Continue to pray for the families. I hope you all have a great day.